stories of the Bible. Naaman is healed. This is Naaman, who was a great leader in the army of the king of Aram. Though Naaman was a mighty warrior, he had leprosy, which made him have sores all over his body. Naaman had a maid in his house who was a young girl from Israel. This young girl served Naaman's wife. One day, the girl told Naaman's wife, I wish my master would go to see the prophet in Samaria. He would heal him of his leprosy. Huh, really? Yep. So Naaman went to the king of Aram and told him what the young girl had said. Wow. The king told him to go see the prophet and gave him a letter to give the king of Israel. Yes, sir. Naaman went to Israel and brought with him many gifts. He gave the letter from his king to the king of Israel, which asked him to heal Naaman. After the king of Israel read the letter, he became very upset because the king knew he couldn't heal Naaman. He thought the king of Aram was trying to pick a fight with him. But there was a man of God in Israel named Elisha. Heard. He was a prophet and his job was to tell people what God wanted him to say. He also had done many miracles through God's power and healed people of sickness. So when he heard that the king of Israel was upset, he sent him a message that said, Why are you so upset? Send Naaman to me and he will learn that there is a true prophet here in Israel. Go on. So Naaman went to Elisha's house, but Elisha sent a messenger out to him with this message. Go and wash yourself seven times in the Jordan River. Then your skin will be restored and you will be healed of your leprosy. This made Naaman angry because he thought Elisha would come to meet him and wave his hand over him to heal him as he called on God's name. He didn't understand why he would just need to wash in a river in Israel. So Naaman turned and went away in a rage. But his officers encouraged Naaman to do what Elisha said, and Naaman changed his mind. Okay. Naaman went down to the Jordan River and dipped himself seven times, as Elisha had instructed him. And his skin became as healthy as the skin of a young child, and he was healed. Oh, wow. Then Naaman went back to find Elisha. Naaman said to Elisha, Now I know that there is no God in all the world except in Israel, so please accept a gift from your servant. But Elisha refused to accept a gift from Naaman, even after he offered a second time. So Naaman asked if he could take some of the dirt from Israel back home, and said he would only offer sacrifices to the one true God from then on. Elisha said, go in peace. So Naaman started home again, healed from his leprosy by the power of God. <laughs>